In 1971, the Aylesbury Canal Society formed, with its main goal of preserving the Aylesbury Arm. To encourage visitors down the arm, it offers two weeks free mooring. It has fantastic facilities here and is the perfect place to moor our boat, Alice Grace, over Christmas. Hello, it's lovely to see you. Um, I really do hope that whatever the situation is for you at the moment, that you are in good health. And um, this is my little vlog that I have done, whether or not you celebrate Christmas, just to say um, thank you for watching my vlog this year. And I really do hope that you have a year that brings you so much joy and satisfaction. So I am not with my boat at the moment. I've been in Mersey for a week and I can reassure you that whatever is happening in the world at the moment, the sun is still rising and still setting. And the tides still ebb and flow. and nature seems to be busy doing what it does best. Now here in Mersey, it's all about the oysters. In fact, the Romans are said to have loved the oysters so much here, they used to drag them back in nets. There are two types of oyster. There's the rock oyster and the native oyster, which is the smaller of the two shells. Also over the last uh, week or so there has been a curlew, actually I've seen a second curlew today on the beach close by. Well now, if you have been watching my vlogs for a while, um, thank you if you have, uh, but also you may have noticed that in recent weeks we have had an addition to the roof of the boat. And that addition has been an early Christmas present because I really wanted uh, a little boat, a little rowing boat that I could get Zephyr in and that we can go and explore places on the canals and rivers that you can't get to with your narrow boat so I can have a closer look at wildlife without disturbing it.
Now I don't have, unfortunately for you, a mindful cruise on the canal, but I do have for you an update from when I stayed on the Wendover Arm. If you remember, I mentioned that I had ordered a plaque, which was my gift to all of you, my viewers, so you can go and visit it on the Wendover Arm. Well, it's arrived. And when I have information as to where exactly it will be placed, I will let you know. So if ever you're in the area, you can visit it too. Look after yourself. If you celebrate Christmas, I really wish you a Merry Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I wish you a fantastic end to this year. And let's all hope that we will all have a better year next year. I wish you well. Take care. Look after yourself. And please come and join me next week. Bye. Prodding mud, a curly's beak, in front of me, I do not speak. All my worries slip away while standing on the beach today. The tide glides over stony sands, reaching where the curlew stands. I watch it wade in pools of wet, and for a while all fears forget. Its golden chest, silvery head, the chestnut speckled wings are spread as oyster catcher comes too near, decides it's best to disappear. But I don't leave until it flies, the curlew with its corly cries, and only when it's finally gone does my journey carry on. <laughs>